Hi, I'm Maggie. Today I'm going to share with you some of the tips and tricks and things I wish I would have known before I started using my Creo white toner printer. Okay, first let's talk about your heat press. We recommend using a swing away heat press rather than a clamshell. This is just because the pressure is more evenly distributed when you use your swing away press. And then also something to consider is the heat distribution within the press. So when you're shopping and looking at heat presses, make sure that you find one that has the coils that go throughout rather than coils that are just on the edges. This ensures an even distribution of the heat. Now let's talk about the environment. It's important to make sure that you have proper ventilation in the area that you're working. You wanna leave plenty of room around your Creo white toner printers to make sure they don't overheat. It's always recommended to use a single plug and then also make sure the humidity in the space that you're working is between 50 and 70% and that the temperature is between 70 and 80 degrees Fahrenheit. All of these things will impact the image and the quality of the image. If it's not correct, it could leave things spotty or streaky. They just don't come out ideal. The format of the images that you're importing into the RIP software, it's preferred that you use a PNG and you can also use an SVG. And if you have issues with background, that kind of thing, there are websites and applications that you can use online or even on your phone to remove backgrounds from the images. Keep in mind that the white toner RIP software is not compatible with Mac PCs. It's only compatible with Windows. When you're ready to use the heat press, you wanna make sure that that lower platen is always preheated. So all you have to do is drop the top on your heat press for a few seconds just to warm that up. When you're getting ready to do the mirroring process, I like to fold back a corner on the B sheet which allows me to pull that corner back just a little bit easier in a timely fashion. I always prefer to use heat gloves when I'm doing the marrying process to protect my fingers. I also like to use silicone thimbles because they're just so simple to slip on your finger. One of the things that I learned the hard way is to make sure that I check my B sheets every single time and look at the space where the adhesive stuck to the toner. If there's any residual toner left within the space that is supposed to have transferred, I will go ahead and reprint the image and do it over because it won't stick to the substrate that you're trying to do. There are so many different types of papers for all the different varieties of projects that you can do with a Creo white toner printer. Keep in mind that there is a learning curve. It doesn't happen overnight usually, but we've created a lot of content and videos, instructional videos, that kind of thing to help support you in your journey with Creo white toner printing. If you have any questions, you can always reach out to our Creo support. Make sure to follow us at mycreo.com for more tips and tricks. Bye. Oh, 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 o